Welcome to the Church of Christ here in Newbury, Florida. I am not talking from my office today, but talking from the fellowship hall. Here at the church, I would like to talk to you about the Lord's Supper. Some people call it the communion. We read about it in God's Word in Matthew 26. Matthew 26 and 26, where Jesus instituted the, the Lord's Supper. We see it in practice. Matter of fact, in uh, Acts chapter 20, there in verse 7, on, on Paul's missionary journey, it says this. Now on the first day of the week, when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul, ready to depart the next day, spoke to them and continued his message until midnight. Here we have the example of them doing that. Because uh, the Greeks and others, they misunderstood. Just like today, I believe many people misunderstand the Lord's Supper or the communion. We would like to read what is said to the Corinthians here by Paul when talking to them about the Lord's Supper. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, there in verse 23, beginning, 1 Corinthians 11 and 23. Now I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same day in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take ye, this is my body, which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. In the same manner he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. When we meet together upon the Lord's day here at the Newberry Church of Christ, we take of the bread and we take of the, the fruit of the vine. The fruit of the vine is grape juice. It can be grape juice that's preserved in any different ways. It is something that we take. It's the fruit of the vine. We do not take Pepsi Cola. <laughs> we do not take water. We do not take coffee. It is fruit of the grape, fruit of the vine. Here, when we take of the communion, we take of the bread. We take the unleavened bread that they used in the ceremony of the Passover. Some people think of it as being a cracker. It's not a cracker that we take, or, or some call it a wafer. It's, it's bread. Bread is made up, plain bread is made up of plain flour. It is just flour. It is not anything that has any kind of yeast or sodium or anything in it. It is just plain flour. No soda, no baking powder. Plain flour, we use oil, we use salt, and we use water. I'm going to give you an example of what I do and what we do here every Sunday when we make the communion. We take usually one half cup of flour. We put one half cup of flour in, you put in a third cup of water, you put in one big spoon of olive oil, and then you put in a, a half spoon of salt. When you put this in and then get a spoon, and mix it up what we are doing is making the communion bread now some people like to use whole wheat flour it doesn't matter if it's whole wheat as long as it is flour and by the way he used we are told to use the fruit of the vine grape juice we are told to use basically the the flour or bread and it's interesting to me, of the seven continents, the six continents of the, of the world that we human beings live on, every one of them can grow, is able to grow bread stuff or wheat and is able to grow grapes. Even here in America, a lot of people think that grapes came from, from Europe some grapes did, but we had the American grapes here. When I was a kid, my grandmother and others used to make uh, grape jelly out of the mustardine grape, a grape that grew wild. Even in Oklahoma, we had a grape, a small grape called the possum grape that they used to make sometimes jelly out of. 
All of this was done in the time of grapes that grew in this country. Every continent had grapes. Here what I'm doing is taking the bread, taking it like this. I'll usually take a rolling pin, we flatten it down like this and make it into a communion loaf. Some people, I saw some videos, I saw one video that said, oh, it's got to be not round, it's got to be not this and all that. It can be any shape that you want it. To me, I make it like I'm making bread. The Lord took the bread, took it like this, made it whoever it was for the serving. This is like a communion bread. Now what I do next is I always take the pan and I take a pan and I, uh, for videos, I'm using even a large side pan. I take it, I put some of the oil in the bottom of the pan, do it like this. Then put my bread inside. The bread can be whatever thickness you want. It usually, the, you know, it, it's, it's bread. Like I always told people, I said, bread is like my mama's biscuits. My mama's biscuits wasn't like your mama's biscuits. Everybody's biscuits are a little different. Now I'm going to show you because of, I like the illustration. What I do when I'm doing this to make it easier to serve and break during the Lord's Supper, I take a knife. It doesn't have to be this large, but I like the way this works. And what I do is take it and just score it like this. This is for convenience that when they are passing it around, the people are able to break off and it comes apart so that when they take the Lord's Supper, they can just take it apart like this. And this is what I do every uh, Lord's Day. If I'm making the bread and others, we like to do it just like this. We do it like this. And then we have it, we take it in. I'm going to drop this in the oven. We will come back in about 15 minutes or 10 or 15 minutes and show you the finished product. So uh, be back with you in just a moment after I make this. Okay, we are back in about, in about 12 minutes. We're going to check and see how the communion bread is doing. Looks good. Set this down, let you see it. Here's the way it looks now. I will take this out now, take it. And then we have the communion bread for the Sunday service. We take of this every Sunday because every Sunday is the Lord's day. We do this. Some people take it only every few months, but the Bible tells us that to do this is to remember his death till he comes. And the Lord's Day comes once a week. In the Old Testament, when it talks about the Ten Commandments, it talked about remembering the Sabbath. It said, remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. They was to remember every Sabbath. Uh, and we remember every Lord's Day. If you would like to come and, and take of the, of the bread and, and the fruit of the vine every Sunday, we invite you to come here to Newberry Church of Christ. We do this every Sunday. We do not do it any other day. We do it the Lord's Day, the special time, the special day. And we pray that you keep that special day no matter where you live. Any questions, please uh, just contact me. And please, if you would, like the video or subscribe to it. And God be with you till we meet again.